There's a kind of nuclear power you may not be familiar with, similar to atoms colliding in the sun. That's nuclear fusion, and it could revolutionize how clean energy is produced on Earth. We actually have to go hotter than the sun. But as a new wave of experiments heats up, can fusion live up to the hype? In the heart of the English countryside, Cullum seems like a typically quaint village. You probably wouldn't know that the area is home to a cluster of energy companies, all trying to turn an ambitious idea into reality. I'm working in an industry that's doing incredible things, that offers the promise to decarbonize countries and industries for the future. For more than a decade, Tokamak Energy has been working on a dream to make nuclear fusion an important source of global energy. The promise is that fusion could give the world carbon-free, near-limitless energy forever. And when we get the gyrotron, where, whereabouts is that going to be in relation to the device? You know? Everybody in any news flow is seeing the impact of climate change. And we need green energy that can provide what fusion can provide, which is baseload power when you need it, on the grid, in an industrial setting to decarbonize. Nuclear fusion would also work in any weather, unlike solar and wind, and create far less nuclear waste than today's nuclear power plants. It is remarkably efficient. So one kilogram of fusion fuel is equivalent to 10 million kilograms of fossil fuel. So what is nuclear fusion? Today's nuclear power stations use nuclear fission, where heavy elements are split into fragments. Nuclear fusion is the reverse. It's a process inspired by what happens in the sun. Here you have hydrogen atoms colliding and fusing. They form helium in the process, and they emit a neutron. And it's the neutrons that carry the energy actually have to go hotter than the sun, six or seven times hotter than the sun, to 100 million degrees Celsius, and also exerting pressures from very, very high field magnets. So it's a small wonder that scientists have been trying to make fusion work for a long time, around 70 years. The key requirement is a reactor which can create the extreme conditions needed. Warwick's team uses the most tested kind, called a tokamak. Within that tokamak, we heat up a plasma and then we feed it with fuel. In a commercial device, that fuel is deuterium and tritium, and they're the two isotopes of hydrogen that collide and create fusion. In 2022, tokamak energy heated plasma to 100 million degrees Celsius, a record for this kind of tokamak, and the temperature a fusion power station will need in the future. But so far, no fusion experiment has managed to produce the sustained energy needed for a power station. Tokamak Energy aims to achieve this within a decade. To bring fusion to the grid in the 2030s, we have to overcome a, a number of challenges. We have achieved great things in the science. We still have some engineering challenges to overcome in the fields of material science, liquid metal. To help overcome the challenges, Tokamak Energy and other companies have some useful partners just a few miles away near the village of Cullum. Here, scientists working for the British government have been running fusion experiments with European partners for 40 years. We're just down the road from Cullum. That campus has UK Atomic Energy Authority there, but also a number of private companies. And we work very closely developing the talent that we need for fusion in the future. So this is the place to be right now. If this much-hyped energy source is going to take off, this fusion between the private and public sectors may offer the best hope. We now have a cluster of activity, a whole load of other research facilities, and also companies using our facilities. We have General Fusion, a Canadian company, moving to our campus. We have First Light Fusion and Tokamak Energy, both UK-born companies building their next facilities here, collaborating with our people. And that helps all of them to get there quicker, frankly. In the last decade, 
the number of fusion-focused private companies has rocketed, growing to at least 42 around the world, and attracting more than $6 billion in investment. Commonwealth Fusion Systems in America is backed by Bill Gates. And Jeff Bezos has invested in General Fusion, which is using a different kind of reactor to a tokamak. This diversity of approaches increases the chance of fusion making it to the grid. There are no guarantees, but fusion's potential to transform energy production makes it worth the energy. Maybe even all the energy in the world. I came to fusion to make a difference to the world. Since I was 18, I was convinced that we needed to do something about climate change and provide low carbon sources of energy. I still believe that fusion is the best pathway that we have. And we need to make fusion happen. Hi, I'm Charlotte Howard, executive editor at The Economist. If you'd like to read more about the energy transition, please click on the link opposite. And if you'd like to watch more of our Now and Next series, please click on the other link. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.